Alright, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the video of Aquarian Adventures. Um, today's video, yeah, obviously I'm recording the intro in my room, not at the beach. Because I didn't have time to record the intro that day. I was rushing to get in the water. It was super late already. And we had a very long dive ahead of us, me and my cousin. Um, like I've said before, my dad couldn't join us on that dive because he had to work, unfortunately. I was off work for a little while, so I thought, why not hit a dive sesh? Um, don't mind my bed in the back. It's messy. I know, I just put the blanket over it. My girlfriend's going to be really mad that I did that. But I don't care because it's my videos to do what I want. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just stop in, give you guys a little breakdown of what's going on. So today's video, obviously, we're gonna show you guys how to cook a Joe, how to cook a Pananu, yada yada yada. A little bit of that. You guys will see more of that in the video. Um, but I just don't like when the video starts off kind of weird, so I thought I'd just jump in, you know, give you guys a little bit of backstory on the dive. So we jumped in. It was a super long dive. Like I said, we had to dive for a while. My gun still wasn't shooting straight this day. Unfortunately, I missed a couple fish. But I did get lucky enough to connect with a few fish that we were able to cook it. Um, and like I've said in the video, I, I figured it out. It's almost positive it's my shaft. There's a little bend in my shaft from when I shot a fish a while back. And ever since then, the gun's been shooting weird. So that's just, I gotta change the shaft. I'll probably just buy a new gun. I mean, because I really need one. That one's kind of trashed already. Uh, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me showing you, of us, not me, me and my dad, showing you guys how to cook a Joe, cook a Pond anew. Um, if it is helpful you guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We enjoy everybody. We appreciate everybody's subs. The channel has been growing a lot, um, and that wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for all the views. Um, also, I don't have a shirt at the end of this video. I was cleaning the fish, and I had a super nice shirt on. I didn't want to get dirty. So don't mind that. But yeah, let's jump straight into the video. See y'all in there.
Yeah. Alright guys, so you guys would have seen me shoot that mm -hmm. Joe and that Pond. We'll take it out after. Huh? Um, but this guy couldn't wait till those three came in. He wants to have a cut on you. Yeah. We have to do it. We are, we are, man. No one understands what he's saying. Sorry guys, we're getting all the in the kitchen today. Oh, I got it! Yeah. That was the taco poke thing we made the other video. Um, if you haven't watched that, you should watch the video, that shit was a bit. But that was the thing I made on the side, you guys would have seen it in there, but I didn't really say anything. But all that is, is the taco poke before we mix all the seasonings in it. Okay, this kid's ruining me. Um, but yeah, before we mix all the seasonings, I just put it in shorty and vinegar. Like, kind of like a pickled taco kind of thing, and it was really good. Um, we were just eating that while we was prepping all this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the first thing we're gonna make tonight is a stuffed uhu. Hey, we're just cutting daddy. onions. Real simple recipe. Onions, mayonnaise, Portuguese sausage, daddy. salt, pepper, in the oven, up. baby. Okay, you ready, Emerald Agassi? Cut some onions, okay? So yeah, I haven't specified it yet, but like you guys would've saw, like I said, we shot a joe and I'm pounding, but we're gonna daddy, steam the joe. Oh, sorry, my bad. And then we're gonna stuff the uhu and throw it in the oven. The oven actually done already. So that's nice. So once we get this done, we can just throw it in there. Oh, the pink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you ready, Emerald? Yeah, Dad. Basically, all he's doing is cutting the onions up. Mm-hmm. Huh. Oh, this guy will whack my fingers, dog. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to mention a little thing about me. Um, in the other video, you guys would have seen my gun was shooting crooked. In this video, you guys would have seen I missed the Joe in the beginning. My gun's still shooting crooked. I, I found it out after we came home. Me and my cousin came home, and we were just tweaking with my gun. We were sorting stuff out, and I'm pretty sure it's because my shaft's bent. My shaft has a little bend to it, and I'm pretty sure that's why my gun's shooting crooked. But I did get lucky enough to connect with that Joe, as you guys saw. Um, and then the Pondanu was nightmares. I missed the first shot. This guy is ruining me right now. I missed the first shot while it was sleeping, and then um, I followed it up in the hole. And I don't know if you guys would have saw, my cousin had one band loaded, so did I. Don't shoot your gun two bands in the hole. I don't care what someone says, it's gonna be a nightmare. Trust me, don't do it. I made him unload his band before he even attempted to go down and drop because I told him, don't shoot two bands in the hole. You're gonna get your shaft stuck, and we'll be here forever. And because he's my dive partner, I have to stay there and help him get it out. I just didn't want to do that. So, little tip, don't shoot two bands in the hole. And he only has a 90 centimeter gun. Yeah, this guy is ruining me. That's right, you are ruining me right now. Okay, okay, fine. You don't have to be quiet. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to specify a little bit of details and you're ruining me. So we just got half a round onion. Again, can be preference. Yellow onion, sweet onion. Low key was kind of only what we had on hand. <laughs> Pretty much. So, preference I would go sweet onion, but yeah, we have, that's what we had on hand, so. Be quiet. We got here is your average quiet. Hawaiian brand, mild Diggler. If you guys ever saw the movie Boogie Nights, you don't know why we call this bad boy on Diggler. We're also limited to mobility because my light's plugged into the wall because mm -hmm. I don't have a I don't have a wireless one. I have a wired one. Don't worry guys. We are in the works on getting better equipment. Yeah. So I have like mobility, but like, Mama. doesn't matter anyway. Wait, 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 buddy. Oh, this guy won't slice me. Oh, cuz. Oh, hammer. Trying to chop off fingers. This guy is crazy, bro. Oh, I cut the old, they cut it. You cut it? Yeah. Guys, you guys think, where's mom? She's in the kitchen. I mean, not in the kitchen, she's in the parlor. In the parlor. Oh, is that that? It's your own thing. It's a hot dog. <laughs> it's a hot dog. Say, show them it's your muscles. Show them your hot muscles. Dog, brother. You're supposed to be in the shower, you little child. He is. I don't want to be a dog. Yeah, he doesn't want to shower. See, I don't want to shower. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out, don't hold the blade yeah. part. You hold daddy's hand on me. Sorry, guys. This process is usually not that long. But, uh, again. Yeah, again. so he's just going to finish up cutting this and I'll bring the camera back because this is going to yeah. be. Emerald Agassi is killing We'll be right back when he's finished cutting it because my little brother wants to help and I don't want to be here forever. <laughs> So there we go, All simple did, oh, go. sausage, onions. All I did was cut it up in smaller cubes. Um, Some people you cut it up the other way, that's all personal preference, we just cut it up in cubes. And then his mayonnaise, I'm gonna put that in there. I, I low-key don't like the smell oh, of yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is good. Yeah, I, 
No, but I can eat it, but I hate it. Daddy, daddy, it'd yeah, be no, good. good. Like, I can eat it, but I just it don't like good. it. be good. Cause I know guys eat this thing on chili, bro. I don't know how they do Bro, that. I've seen that before. Like, for real, that ass. I tracked it. No, I gotta put planning. You gotta base the fish this way. That's why when you cook mayonnaise, it's good because mayonnaise you is like a natural. It, it's oil, basically, is all it is. Mm. And it's. There you go. Mix that, doggy. This guy wanted me to mix it, but that's it. I had to clean the fish. I'm not mixing it. That's cool. Come back with his blocky. He's really gone. Alright, so he's washing his hands. Here it is. Mayonnaise. Fish. That was good. Monster energy, obviously. Monster energy, brother. Okay, where are you going now? So we pizza. actually season not just the fish. I'm gonna season the fish too, but I'm gonna season my stuffing too. I mean, last thing you like is under seasoned food, man. Everybody that's on a diet is probably looking at us like you guys are not. Nice. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I think I made a good camera. Just go for this, no justice. Look at me now. This guy's in our Grab some. Alright, we'll be back because we have to go look for it. I have to go look for the oysters. We'll be right back. Okay, he has found the new oyster sauce. We didn't do this last time. Why would he do this to mine? Secret, Secret. 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 not important. Kum Chan something. That's the one right there. The Kum Ki. So far, that's all we have in there. Salt, pepper, mayonnaise, or the sauce, onion, and onion. Put that over there. And for Jesus. Now he's mixing it. Let's have it over to my camera. So all he's gonna do is mix this, and then we're gonna stuff it in the fish. Watch a little bit of this mixing. It's kind of boring though, so. Open you guys back and we're stuffing the fish. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, my GoPro gave me an SD card there. But basically all he did was took the stuff from in the bowl, put it on the fish and in the fish. Um, and basically that's all you gotta do. Yes, sir. It's all of those ingredients except for the monster. That's just something you drink to keep energized. But it's basically all of those ingredients and put your sausage, cut it up, mix it in a bowl, put it in there. Simple as that. Bing, bang, boom, yep. bang. Then you wrap it with another piece of foil. Close this guy up. And it is on the top corner. Oh, it's not Yeah, imitation crab and dog. I heard. Instead of sausage. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. Imitation crab and fish cake. You can like shrimp, magic. man. You can yeah. stuff this yeah. thing. Okay, you can literally put anything yeah. you want in here. Alright, that's good. Okay. Into the oven it goes, it beeped already, bro. Oven's ready and ready to rock and roll. Alright, guys. Brand new oven, set up by yours truly. In the oven it goes. Now you just close the oven. Bang on And then, how long are you cooking that? Now we'll start on our jewel. First thing you gotta do is make sure you wash the dishes, bro. So he's gonna wash the dishes, and we'll be back when we have the jewel all ready to go and prep. Alright guys, all he did was peel the ginger. Um, I'm trying to keep the, like I said before in the other video, I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit shorter. So all of this like miscellaneous stuff, I just let him do it off camera and then whenever it's... Here's lemongrass. I think that's what the, yeah that's lemongrass. So all he's gonna do, we've used this in our, in our video that we made um, the beginning of the year. We made a tilapia video. That's where we was using lemongrass. So basically, I don't know how to do this, but I think you just cut it up. 
Yep. It's peeling off all that old stuff. This is not such a good piece, bro. But we will make do. Cut off all the edges, all that, that dirty stuff, all that nasty stuff. Just cut it off. This is strictly here's aromatic. The, here's the Joe that I shot. As you guys would have saw, this thing, like I told my, like I told my cousin, this guy clawed me over because he saw a big move. All right, the story on this, you guys would have saw. Music. But here, I'll give you guys a story. See, there's a school of fish. I was on the outside looking for tacos. Way on the outside. Um, he called me over because there's a big ooh. He said, there's a big ooh, job. come, try shoot it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna come over there and try shoot it. Um, I, by the time I got over there, it was gone, unfortunately. But as you guys would have seen, when I pulled up, there was a big school of nine eyes. And in the school, there was this Joe, and he was just swimming around while I was doing my breathe up. Because I was gonna blind drop anyway. Because a lot of times I've had it happen where I blind drop, the ooh's come back and I have a chance at it. So I was gonna blind drop anyway in the school of fish, and hopefully I get lucky. Um, but then I saw this Joe come in, and I knew it was a really good size Joe from the surface. And as you guys would have seen, I was having a rough day in the water with my gun. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a try anyway. So then I took my breathe up. I went down. And you guys saw, as soon as I hit the ground, this thing started flying in. Um, it's one of the more stupider Joes. Because the island I live on, I live on Oahu. Um, if you live on this island, if you dove this island, you know that everything in, down here just, it just has a brain. It's like they literally went to Harvard Community College. That's not even a community college. Scratch that. Scratch that. They went to Harvard, um, and they literally are geniuses. Um, but that's just because our island has a lot of divers. It gets a lot of pressure. Um, fish are a lot more smarter. And especially when they get bigger like this, they don't get big for being stupid. But apparently this one literally got big for being retarded. So I'm up to me, fed him the shaft, and that's how that went. But yeah, so he's just cutting it up right now. Trying to fit this in a steamer. too big for fitting a steamer. Yes, so. he has to cut it in half. This is probably one of the bigger drills I've shot. The biggest draw I've ever shot in my life. This is literally the same size as it. So it's basically the biggest draw I've ever shot in my life. I measured it. Um, it came out to 14 inches. The same as my other one. So this thing's massive. Take a move. over. That's some noise. Let him in the water. Yeah, he did. I shot him his gills. That's why. Where'd the foil go? Behind me. Grab that. He's just scoring the fish. Looking at trash, not even looking at the fish. My bad. Make sure you sharpen your knife first. Yeah. I don't even have a knife sharpener. I lost it. Get them lips still. I call it a Joe because that's what I always knew it as, but the actual name is Moon. That's the Hawaiian name for it. Um, but it just seems foreign to me when I call it that, so that's why I don't ever call it a Moon. I just call it a Joe. Moon? Moon, yeah, M U N U. That's that's the Hawaiian name for it, but I don't ever call it that. I just call it a Joe. Joe. It's funny because I'll call it Kumu or Kumu, the Hawaiian name, but I won't call it its proper name. I think it's like Saddle. It's something saddle, bro. It's yeah. Some weird shit like that. I like, or, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Forget the name, yeah. So here's a joke. He's just cutting foil. Wow, my mom's getting them Taco Bell. I don't care. We're eating quality right now. I'm dead. It's nice. Yeah. I don't know why they call him Joe nope. just in case. Nope. Okay, so for some of uh, just in case anybody out there is wondering why they call him Joe. If you look at the fish's lips, this fish get big fat lips. So they called it after the, the actual boxer Joe Lewis. That's actually what that's how they, that's it. how they got the name for Joe's. It's because of the, the boxer Joe Lewis. I guess he get big fat lips, so <laughs> so they call him. And then there's foil in the steamer. You guys would have seen the steamer in other videos too. Mm -hmm. We use the steamer for everything. The steamer is everything. And me. Um, and you had great meals in the in this bad boy. Yeah, no, he was the he became he's oh, why yeah. the fish got named. But yeah, I'm sure. 
that's kind of jacked up. Yeah. You named that one Big Lip Fish. That fish tastes good though, I mean it. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing you got going for yeah. you is that taste good, huh? It's a good tasting fish. Yeah, at least it wasn't a trash fish. You know what I find funny though? Some, like, it, they're all the same fish, right? Goldfish, in general, they're all goldfish. But some of them taste better than others, bro, like... Like Moana Kali, Joe's, and Kumus, for instance, they all taste good. But you chew a Moana and it's like... It just don't want Moana or like one of those like white sand beckets. They just don't taste the same. I don't yeah. know. But yet they're all goldfish. Weird. And a little side note for some of you. That in there, right, is a Pananu or a Star Uhu. I would prefer to eat that. This goes back to the thing where it's the same species but they taste different. I prefer to eat that over the regular blue and red Uhu because personal preference, blue and red Uhu just don't taste the same as one of those Pananus. So, that my bottle here because I'm gonna have to do some crushing. So yeah, he has that in there. Now he's just dealing with this. Cut this in half. So all he's gonna do is cut this in half. Um he's gonna squash it. Please don't break my knife. It's my good knife. Oh this guy's gonna break my knife. Oh shot ginger. Okay, he's gonna do that to the other gingers and then We'll be right back to do a lemon grass. He's going to do the gingers, but he ended up leaving down for now. So, all he just did is just cut the lemon grass in, up, like in little, like this, in little, oh, bit, in little chunks. Now I cut it in half. And he's going to put that in the fish to give it a little bit of flavor. Umami. Not in there. That's on the head. Perfect little pocket. Shoot. Ginger right in. Then he's put the lemongrass on. He's gonna crush the lemongrass up. So basically, all we're gonna do is crush all this up and then put it in there. So we'll bring you guys right back. Like this, said, he's supposed to cut up both the gingers, but he's cut up one and then he did the lemongrass and the other seen that way. But he cut down the ginger in slits. I'm pretty sure because that's going to go in the gaps of the fish over there. Um, like I said, my light's plugged into the wall, so I'm limited on mobility at the current moment. Um, but he did put the lemongrass inside of the fish. So it's inside of the fish. Uh, it's in there. And then he's going to cut these up into little pieces and he's gonna shove it in there as well and that'll go in the fish and then after that all we have to do is put the lid on or put the lid on lid it's right there it's in the dish rack put the lid on um and then we throw it on steaming water it's still here and yeah don't be afraid to experiment guys i mean as long as you don't waste the fish but yeah, don't be afraid to experiment with new flavors, new tastes. Sometimes we use our regular recipes, but we try to spice it up with other stuff. I don't know if you guys want direct in like ingredients, like uh, like amounts and stuff. Put it in the comment section, and I'll gladly reply back and help you guys out. But. It's one of those personal preference things. Some people like more ginger, some people like less ginger. This is just a base on how you get it started, and then from there, you do your own thing. All right, so now we're just gonna tap it and throw it on the flame. Oh, you forgot that. Thing. Hold up, we'll be right back. We gotta grab that other spot. Here it is. Like I said, we have to grab the black bean real quick out of the ice box. But you guys have seen this in the other video. Running he has to put water in the thing because it's running out of water. But you guys would have seen this in the video where we made the Moana Kali. It was a little bit smaller than this one. We put um black bean that got polished off in like 20 seconds. <laughs> but that was just like a foiled black bean that wasn't really. We didn't put any ginger or nothing. This is like the proper way that we usually do it. We put ginger, lemongrass, that, and uh, put it in the steamer. Actually, a steamer to undo it. But that one was just a rush thing because it was super late night, he had to work and we were all tired so we just wanted to get it done. But yeah. I know you guys might be wondering, you guys, you know, use that back bean a lot. Uh, and that answer is yes. Yeah, it's really good. 
it's really, really Because if not, but it, this is the paste one, I'm pretty sure. Not the, I think there's two different ones, that's why. This is the paste. I mean, hey. No, this is the sauce, not the paste. I'm sorry. Same that's goes. what it looks like. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yeah, he took the ginger off. He put it on. Remember, you guys saw he put yep. it on. He took it off sorry. because you have to put this first. And then we're going to put the ginger back on and put it on the pan. So yeah, you guys seen us do this a hundred times. Nothing new. You just put it on the fish, lather it. Don't put too much because it's super concentrated and salty. Blah, 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 yada. Um, yeah, we're going to finish doing this. Put the ginger on, cap it, and then we'll, show you, we'll bring you guys back when we throw it on the fire. So this is the extra ginger I had after I was done steaming the fish. And this is some extra lemongrass. Not extra lemongrass. That's like the, the parts that was like, ugh. Not ugh, but it was so that. what I'm going to do is quality. this is for on top of my fish. So after we're done, we can sizzle it with the hot peanut oil. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this just so that as it steams, you know, the moisture from the fish and from the water will actually dilute the paste and make a really nice gravy. And That's flavor, 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 that. flavor, just to give it some added essence and fragrance. I put some ginger and some lemongrass in the boiling water underneath and that'll actually permeate the fish with that really nice fragrance of lemongrass no, and ginger. I've never done that yet, so this is something new for me. Something We're gonna figure new. it out. He's also doing this, mixing water and I would never done that. Another new thing. I figure instead of putting plain water, we put some black bean water so that it doesn't yeah, I need to add more water this like this, it won't stick hopefully. Yeah. I like that sauce at the end, that's why. Mm -hmm. That and a little bit of rice, oh my god. Kinda beat that up, bro. Yep. I mean, I just period, you can't beat something that you literally shot that was swimming not even hours ago. Yes, well, I would sir. say hours ago. It would have been cooked earlier, but I like I was tired. I had a bunch of stuff to do. I have responsibilities around the house. Um, I have animals to take care of, so that's why. I didn't get to do it yesterday. But it was literally swimming 24 hours ago. So, so we take our last remaining bits of ginger. Just put it on the top. I mean, you guys can put whatever you want cilantro parsley I um, we did that i don't like cilantro yeah so it's all a matter of taste but man. some people do but yeah in the end you know as long as you enjoy your catch you cook it and you eat it it's all g man all right so we're just gonna throw this lid on like you guys seen right us do a hundred times throw the lid on I wish there really was smell-o-vision. You guys gotta smell this. I'm telling you, the camera itself does this thing no justice. If you guys want to know what we're talking about, just go out and get you guys a goat fish. It can, you guys can do this for any goat fish, by the way. Or any fish in general, you can do this. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be a joe. It doesn't have to be, you know, what you've seen us do. You can do anything. Yeah. Any fish, you can do it with. Milu, I mean. Yeah, anything. But yeah, basically all we did, like I said, did that, capped it, threw it on the, on the steaming water. We're gonna let that boil for a little while, and then... We'll come back to the taste tasting part. If I look yeah. weird, it's because it's light's blinding me. Check um, on our panel in a bit. Yeah, we'll check on the panel. Then we'll finish it off and we'll bring you guys right back. Yep. Peace. Cool. Okay, eating some food right now. Hold up, guys. He's eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. So we're just going to check the panel real quick. Uh, it's been cooking for I don't even know how long. Mm -hmm. But. It's in there. He's gonna pull it out with the oven mitts. Don't worry, I we burnt the oven mitts a little bit, so it's not they're not always prime time. But here's the so he's putting that he's gonna put that up there real quick. But here's the um little not little but here's the Joe. It's steaming. Nice, perfect. You see all the steam coming off. He just put this over here on the towel on a wet towel. Um, I don't know what kind of countertop this is, but I wouldn't recommend putting anything hot on a countertop. For the off chance, maybe it'll blow up the glass. I know glass does that. So just put like a cold, or well not even a cold, just put like a cloth underneath there. This guy is taking forever for tongs. So we're just gonna peek, check if it's cooked. If it's cooked, then, like I said, I, I, we totally just forgot. Oh, you see, see that steam coming off? Oh, I don't think it's done. Yeah, it is. It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is done. Try it. Get them off. I'm pretty sure it's back, but 
Oh, not the fireworks in the background. I'm dropping bombs. Oh, oh. Oh, Stuck on the tail. Take me with this, please. Okay, I'm gonna let the steam go by, then I bring the camera. Is it done? Pretty sure. He's got a fork to poke the middle. Because if the middle's done, then the whole fish is done. Is it done? It's kind of already eaten. Yeah, that was a bad idea. That thing is smoking hot. Oh. Hot. I think so, huh? Just came out the oven, huh? Oh, you messed up my thumbnail picture. Okay, wait, before you eat anymore, I gotta take a picture. Okay, hold up, guys. Before we eat anymore, I gotta come back and grab my phone and take a thumbnail picture. We'll be right back. Last little right. overview of the fish before these guys polish it off. I don't like anybody get sore stomach from maybe it might be best. Yeah, we got Thor Flopolis. Maybe yeah. I should just eat the This is the guy that always gives me his gun on safety. You fucking get that onions, bro. I got sausage. Right there, that's right. Fuck, it's hot. I'll just eat them like that. Yeah, he's yeah, smurfing. For some reason, the hot tastes freaking fast, though. It is good. Yeah, I would eat it, but yeah, it is. Me too, that's my I'm looking forward to. It. The mayonnaise not too overpowering. Nah, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice fish, but we just like the hard one. We the mm -hmm. chance, cuz. Yep, this fucker gonna die. Oh, 100 pounds. Hey, you guys gotta save Javi some. Last time she was snapping at me because he didn't polish off the collar before oh. she beat him up. Don was not me. The collar I only took like. Yeah, okay, I might have took a couple bites. Are you liar? Mega blue is coming for Edom. Get mega blue. Oh, yeah, you gotta dip them in the oil anyway. Oh. Hot, yeah, I know how to hot piece too. Mega oh, blue, that's oh, eating it. Go, go. Not burn them, demolish them. You got a nuclear bomb. Mine is still trying to recover. Oh, that was a stupid one, yeah, I don't know how to do it too. Ah. Alright guys, so there it was. Mm -hmm. Next time you guys see one of these pot noodles in the water. Go. Yeah, so. Don't think twice, shoot it. Don't want to miss out. Yep, you're missing out big time. Even up to the kind of girl. Even by mom. And it's really fast and simple. I don't know how long it was cooking, but it really wasn't cooking that long. How long do you think it was cooking? I want to say 20. 20 minutes. Okay. Yep. Sounds about right. And if anything, you can always lift up the foil, check it, and if it's not cooked or you know you want it cooked a little bit more, put the foil back on and put it back in the oven. Just um, remember, man, we ain't, you know, five star Michelin chefs. In the end, as long as it tastes good, <laughs> it's golden with me, bro. Yeah. So there it was. Everybody gave it a thumbs up. It was okay. Um, we're going to finish this off. Like I said, I need to put some on the side because my girlfriend was mad the last time I didn't give her any. And then the Joe is in here. We'll bring you guys back when we taste that. And here it is. <laughs> See this, guys? Here. Wait, there's no oil in the pan, you ningle. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Blow up this pan. Where's the peanut oil? It's hot. That you goes in the pan. Crack that open. It's full. Because your pan will blow up, there's no. Oh! Okay, guys. That's that. This guy gotta heat it. He's heating a pan with no oil. This guy's the nuts, bro. I'm out of here. Wait, come on. Peanut oil, because peanut oil, it's harder than canola oil. Sir, has a higher smoking point, so you can get that voice super hot, which is perfect. Sorry guys, back to the dog. Just sizzling crisp everything. Here's the oil. Here's the fish. Bring you guys back when the oil is done, heat it up, and we can put it on the fish. Yep. I don't know what this guy did. Hey guys, so we got our peanut oil over here. Just get in there. But you really, really 
like I'm really, really, really like this thing smoking because it is my brother. Anyone smoking it, they gonna be on fire. Reason being is when you pour this thing on, you really, really like I'm like. No mind my stove. Literally that. just full on scorch the ginger on top of that. You put it in this pan, it looks way better now. Taking the last one over there, but after. Oh, as you guys can see, this poor Uhu got cracks already. <laughs> yeah. Still get half, but we're saving that for dinner. Trying to anyway. Can't wait. I'm gonna bring us back with the ready. All right, the oil is finally hot. Oh, this guy leaking gas. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I don't fuck with oil. Rock to the big way to smell that. I wish y'all could smell that. Alright, I'm gonna pour this in here and then I'm gonna take a thumbnail picture so we'll bring you guys back at the tasting portion because I need to thumbnail. I need to put that in here. Yes, sir. Okay, guys. This is it. Oh, the marbles. Okay, I'm digging in first because getting in this. Hold on. How's that? That's good. Don't touch the tail, dudes. Eat the head. I'm here for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's it gonna touch the tail? Mm. Sorry guys, Ready. it's just no. a little bit of tweaking out. Yeah. Set to go fat boy. Yeah, that one was good actually. Stop, don't want to be in there. Wait, mm. okay, where's the top? Where's the top? Right there. Mm -hmm. I don't want no. I think I missed it. Come on, get that piece of Go. So I know you guys might be like, oh, these guys oh, seem a lot with black bean. But so trust me, put this in the side. try follow this recipe. Try just cook your fish like this. I'm telling you, once you try them, hey, you're going to always like so them. Me that so every time we shoot humu, any kind of good goldfish, or even like our mullet and stuff, this is like just the go-to dish. You cook this and you try it, and you'll know why we keep going back to it every time. All right, so we're gonna polish this off. Um, put the tail part of it for dinner, like you said. And then we'll see you guys at the end of this video for an outro. Now, nah. um, what's up you guys? That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we showed you guys how to cook Amunu, Joe Lewis, and there's a bunch of movie names for it. Um, I just call it a joke. And we also cooked the Pana New Star, Uhu, Yada Yada Yada. And again, million names for it. Don't, don't care. I call it Pana New. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, that was just a basic, you know, recipe. We basically steamed it in black bean sauce. You've seen it. You guys seen us do it a hundred times. It's one of those things where it's just so good that we do it on everything. Um, the Pana New, again, another basic stuff where, we, where you stuff it with mayonnaise. Anybody that cooks in Uhu, you'll know that that's how they cook it. They put mayonnaise, Portuguese sausage onions um that's just a base people go crazy they put all kind of stuff you guys are heard my mom say in the video my brother-in-law puts uh corned beef and like just a bunch of weird stuff there's nothing wrong with experimenting like i said like he said in the beginning uh, earlier but if you do do it just make sure you eat it um i understand that if you're gonna experience something crazy just maybe do it on like half of a fish not a whole fish so at least you waste only half you eat the other half you know it's one of those things um but yeah as you guys have seen in the beginning of the video my gun did shoot cook it again i that's not me i figured it out already i found me and my cousin came home that day and we like went in deep and I was mad about it um, that the shaft is actually like bent a little bit and that's probably 95% positive that's why they're getting shooting crooked um, so I bent it back with my feet hopefully I bent it back and didn't make it worse I know we did that before we made it worse um, but yeah that's it for me I'm gonna stop blabbering I'm gonna let him finish it up <laughs> again to all our subscribers out there much love and aloha your support is what makes us want to put these videos out there to our viewers we hope you like it and we hope to add you to the Epic Wine Adventures family. And to all you dads and moms, sisters and brothers out there, 
If you get the chance, man, take your brothers, your sisters, your sons, your daughters out in the outdoors, fishing, diving, hiking. I mean, the memories that you create are gonna be awesome. And that's kind of what put me and my son here on our journey. Right. Thanks again, much love. Until next video, I'll see you later. Peace.